The media wants us to know that Russia is going to invade at any minute, really, really soon. Okay, wait, wait. Now. Now. I mean, it's like any minute right now. Russia's going to invade. Any, just any minute. Of course, we've been hearing that for weeks now. And previously, it was stated that on the 16th of February, the Russian military was going to invade Ukraine. Now, as you are well aware, that did not happen. But that's a key element of what it is in the information warfare that we're dealing with in this situation. The United States, or more specifically NATO, but the United States is the head of NATO, wants us to believe that there's going to be an invasion by Russia at in like five minutes. And they're going to keep telling us that like every five minutes so that, you know, in order to scare us, whip us up, let us know that, that the great evil is going to break out and everyone's going to die and World War Three is going to start and Putin evil and all that kind of nonsense. Now, of course, the situation is actually far more complex than simply Putin evil. This is a larger geopolitical issue, particularly in a very old East versus West trope. The United States is trying to bring in Ukraine as a member of a NATO country in order to point missiles at it because it is a rising power and the United States is a declining one. However, there's also another dimension that the mainstream media does not want to tell us, and that is those breakoff provinces democratically voted to leave. Now, they frequently refer to this whenever they, whenever they ever, ever refer to it. They always refer to it as having been stolen or they're going to steal it or Russian separatists forced everybody to vote one particular way because... There's no way ethnic Russians would vote to rejoin Russia or something. I don't know. Maybe this is just like some kind of crazy idea that them Eastern people have. But that's part of that information warfare is not letting us know that and outright denying it when explicitly asked about it, that the uh, Donbass, Lugansk, Crimea, all of them, they voted to leave and no longer be a part of Ukraine because the United States was taking it over. Oh, I mean, you know what I mean. A puppet government, one that is run by multiple Nazis, and the mainstream media has been caught on more than one occasion not only parroting what neo-Nazis in the country have been saying, but literally showing their photo ops and pretending that it's some kind of organic thing, some solidarity march against the Russians that exists in Ukraine. And I, I don't doubt that the neo-Nazi forces don't like Russia. I mean, they've only been at war with them, you know, what, what like since 2014? Kind of a uh, low-intensity warfare in that it's not an outright full war between nations, but it is a conflict that has been occurring in the country, which should in no way be minimized, particularly with the amount of suffering that has occurred as a result. But it's, it's important to keep in mind what's really going on here and the seriousness of what this is all about. It is not something trivial and simple, as the mainstream media would have us believe, and that is Putin evil, Putin invade, because Putin evil. Geopolitics has never been that simple. That has never been the case. And the fact that the mainstream media will not admit that or even discuss this larger issue the larger geopolitical issue in which this is occurring is very telling. The media doesn't always outright lie. Often they lie by omission, not talking about certain things that need to be talked about. If one is going to assert that a Russia has stolen these broken off provinces and that or somehow that the vote that people made was fraudulent, then you would want to show some kind of evidence for that other than just to say it has to be fake because Putin bad. But that is the level of discourse that we do find in the mainstream media. Now, there has already been violence, despite the claims that Russia is going to invade at any minute. There has been shellings by the neo-Nazi forces inside 
of Ukraine, and they bombed a school because they don't know how to aim. One particularly very good source for this is Russell Bentley. Probably, many of you probably already know who Russell Bentley is. He is a guy referred to as the Donbass Cowboy. He is an American volunteer who went over to fight on the side of the Russian separatists uh, uh, many years back. And he has been fighting with them. He's been bringing people news about what has been going on, uh, efforts to preserve society, separation, military reports, and stuff like that. And I will include a link to his channel in the description because any information he could give you is far better than the information I could give you and astronomically better than anything the mainstream media could give you. So that's a really important source that a lot of people need to go to in order to understand this conflict, and that being the information that the mainstream media is not giving us, because they would rather feed us pablum that we would have to be, you know, uh, relatively without critical thought in order to believe. And that is only because of how simplistic it is. There's no detail to this. There's no nuance. There's no real analysis. It's just, as I said, Putin bad. And no mention whatsoever of the democratic right of the Russian separatists to vote to leave Ukraine and rejoin Russia. So this is an important thing to keep in mind when we're talking about the information war that's going on. And Russell Bentley can tell you even more about that what's going on. And he certainly is a reliable source. He is right there basically on the front lines reporting what is going on. So, I mean, <laughs> I couldn't think of a better source than Russell Bentley on this, at least in terms of information coming from the front lines as being reliable. So I suggest that everyone in uh, everyone watching this video uh, go to the link in the description and check out, check out Russell Bentley because he's going to give you a lot of really great information. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.